coming back to watch another amazing video that I have for you. Of course, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I honestly so appreciate it as my main objective is to empower, to inspire, to share knowledge with all of you. Also, check me out on Instagram down here. I'll leave the link down below for my profile where I literally post daily pictures and videos on fashion, makeup, wigs, and all the upcoming videos that I'll be making. With that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down here as well as little bell so you are notified when I upload videos every single week. Now, today I am honestly so excited as this is something that I've wanted to do for literally ever. There's a YouTube subscriber that I do follow. Her name is Time the Infamous and she always had really, really great wigs and whatnot, and then she said that she made her wigs, and I was like, what? You can make wigs? Like, honestly, I wasn't even thinking about it. I just had this wig company called Wigs By. All the links, I'll leave all the links down below for this company. They were kind enough to send me everything that I need to make a wig, so it's like, my dream of making a wig is coming true today. I'll leave the link down below for, I mentioned Time the Infamous because she, her wig video on making a wig video is how I'm actually, what I'm emulating to actually do this. So here are the things that you will need to make a wig. Here we have the frontal, and then of course the shower cap. I got a 12 pack from the dollar store. The two pack of wood caps, the got to be spray glue, the bonding glue, the bundles, the needle, and the thread. Okay, so first up I have just honestly lightly braided my hair and kind of clipped it back. By all means, like doing it tighter would be essential. My shower cap, and I'm putting it over my head. Taking the first wig cap, you'll use two of these. Put the wig, first wig cap down, and the key is to make sure that the wig cap goes past the bottom of your hairline. And then also for this top right here, you're going to make sure, you know, half the ear is perfect and that it is just below your actual hairline. So here's the first one. I'm gonna put the second one on and honestly, we're gonna put it like literally a quarter of an inch just under the first one because you don't want that being bulky or whatnot. So that looks pretty good. I'll tell you, all my bundles came like this. The easiest way for me, what I found to straighten the bundle without taking it apart, was to use just a wig pin and then pinning it to my head and then just taking each little piece and doing it like that, just so it's easier to work with. Now, I did that with the bundle too. So with the bundle, I'm going to kind of fold this in half and then put a pony around this. just so it's out of the way. So with our frontal, we're gonna take this and actually we're gonna pull it forward. So this, the hairline will actually be just, just beyond this wig cap line. And then of course for preparing to sew our frontal, we have of course our C needle. And then I do have my brown thread and the perfect length according to her is just do a full arm's length and then cut it there. I actually had like the worst complication trying to string these needles. Maybe it's this brand. Um, I literally could barely get one, one piece. Like this has like four strands to it. I could barely get one of these in this hole. So I'm thinking that these um, these needles are just not good. So what I'm gonna do, since I'm not gonna be sewing in the frontal, I'm just gonna glue it, which honestly is fine, is taking our bonding glue that we will be using for the rest of the waves, we're just going to, of course, lay this down on the edge of it. Put it down, and like I said, we're gonna have this just below the actual wig line. So then what we're gonna do is hold this down 
as tight as possible for a couple minutes. Okay, so it is down. I have 20 inch, 18, 16, and 14. So I'm gonna be starting at, I'm gonna put three rows down, like that is just mirroring this half moon right here. The next step is actually to use your got to be glue. This is essential or the strongest hairspray that you have. And we're just going to spray, spray down our wig cap. This will help the waves stay in place. And of course, put these wig caps together. We're gonna be taking our hair and we're gonna be measuring, like I said, so three, we're gonna do three rows around this half moon right here. And so what key is, we're gonna pre-measure, but you're gonna have the waif stop just before the actual um, double cap right here. Because if you um, go over that, the wig will not stretch. Measure that out. She says in the video that if you really glue it down, that literally you can have it, you can have like a homemade wig last about six months, even with washing it. So that's actually pretty awesome. So this actually is a little long, so I'm gonna cut this. And then of course you're gonna press down as hard as you can. Then we're gonna repeat that two more times. All right, so now that I have those three layers done, I'm gonna be working on um, the next step, which would be basically going ear to ear. So I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be connecting these two points underneath. So I'll be actually taking the waif that I have that is the shortest length for this part because it'll most likely even out. You of course measure it. Just don't worry about going over the ear because when it's all done, you'll be able to put it right into place. And again, we'll be doing about three layers of this as well before we do the next step. Okay, here we go. I have this glued. So I'm gonna first connect it to this piece and then carry it all the way under and connecting it to that side and of course going just under that wig cap that we doubled up okay we're gonna do that two more times okay so i have finished the three rows in a row right here and of course oh i forgot to mention that um honestly she mentions that if you want a really full wig to use for bundles actually four bundles is more than you need so i'll actually probably most likely just be using three bundles i was given four but the other one was kind of a shorter piece so i'm going to use that just for you know if i want to add hair maybe in a spot i can do that really easily now that we've done all three now we're going to be doing is actually straightening out the back so just putting pieces so we can just go straight, 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 and then all the way up. So that's the next step. Next size up of the bundle. So I'm gonna be using the 18 inch now for this next piece. My next size. So basically what we're gonna do is, is just from, I can't really see right now, of course, but from one point here to this point, and then just stack them up as much as we can. Not gonna lie, this is actually kind of fun. Now it's like actually taking shape and I can really feel it. So what I did with the straight crosses with the 18 inch, I actually just added four rows. So four rows of that. Now I'm gonna go back to the 20 inch, which is on top here. And I think I can probably finish off the top with this amount. If not, I'll use the 18, but I, I feel I feel the end is coming near and I'm really getting pumped about it. Oh my gosh, and just like that, I have made a wig. Three bundles, like this was left and this is double. I feel like I really put them close to each other. Let's take her down from here and see, see what we have. So here she is. So let's take her off. Take off everything. This bag out. And then there's our wig in all of her glory. Oh my gosh. 
really neat with the glue is that you can see how all of the waifs, and actually I kind of give myself kudos. I was pretty straight all the way around. And it's kind of interesting, it's kind of like rubber, which is interesting. So she's ready to go. So let's actually toss her on. Okay, so she is completely on. And then what I've learned is that a lot of these front closures will have, um, which is very common for these kind of shorter Hair. So I don't know if you can see that, these shorter hairs. And all you really do with that when you're straightening them out is just trim them down and it's very, very normal. So, oh my gosh, the reveal. I think I'm hooked. I think I'm hooked. So I just lightly curled her and whatnot. And you know, she's, it feels so good on because you know, there's, it's perfect to my head. All the bundles in the frontal for this wig that I created for myself is from Wigs By. I'll leave the links all down below for you, including coupon code. So they left me some coupons for all of you. So I'm definitely gonna be making wigs in the future now that I've done one. The one thing which is so great about making your own wigs is that you can literally make the most custom wig for yourself, like the wigs that some wig companies sell for multiple thousands of dollars, you can make for yourself for a fraction of the price. So why, why wouldn't you? And then it would fit you perfectly. And honestly, this was a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie to you. It was fun and it was way easier than I thought it would be. And I'm just, I'm in love. I'm in love with how it turned out. So I wanna know, have you made a wig? I would love to know if you've made a wig. I would love to see you in your homemade wig. I wanna see it all. So let's all spread the positivity and empower each other to be the best that we can be. Cause remember, it is your right every single day of your life to be as fabulous as you want to be. And if you feel fabulous in a homemade luxurious wig, wear it, make it, do it, love it. And I wanna thank you all, and we will see you soon. Bye.